Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and we're jumping straight into season seven. Started out three and one, but this is our toughest test. Going up against number two Penn State, and they are led by quarterback Josh Adams, who is one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. 12 touchdowns, one interception through three games. They have a dual threat at running back. Two two-headed monster. I mean, these guys are beasts, especially Peter Wright. He's 99 overall. And at receiver, anybody can get it. They have a lot of playmakers on this offense, and it is going to be tough. So we hop into this game on the road, and this will be a, this is on the national stage. This has got to be a big game for us. So let's hop into this game. But before hopping into it, we do have our first signings here in Season 7. Adam Miller is a three-star tackle, 71 overall. Not bad because we do need young old linemen. And then Craig Evans, who was actually a gem that we discovered, he is actually a three-star, but, man, he's going to be good in the future. Just checking on our five-star recruits at the top of our board. Patrick Cade, we're actually in second. But we might still be in the hunt, but we're kind of falling behind. Chris Rucker is another recruit that we have. He's a four-star. But Trevor McKenzie, we're in the driver's seat for. He's close to committing a number nine defensive end, a four-star. I think he's going to be a force. And the rest of our board is looking pretty good in the early parts of this season. So here is Penn State out on to the field and we got to play some defense here first play is a handoff this time to right and he's getting tackled behind the line that might be a gain of nothing actually james jackson jr on the tackle third and eight now they're gonna hand it off this time to right and he's getting tackled that's a three and out here on the road for this defense and that is actually andre tremblay and we do get the punt so here is the freshman, the true freshman out onto the field, Joey Thompson. And here we go. We are lined up in the pistol here as we are set. And that's going to be a flag on Okafor right away, false start. Now Joey Thompson here in the shotgun, four wide receivers once again. Here's Denzel Knox on the handoff. He's got a lot of room. Look at him. Moving his way 11 yards. I like it. Close to the 50. Come on, offense. Let's put some pressure on this Penn State defense. Third and two. Here is a read option this time. Joey Thompson, he gets stuffed. And that's a loss of two yards, and we're going to have to punt it away. Penn State loves this no huddle offense as they do have a receiver in motion in the slot here. And they may be running it this time as they snap the ball. And it is a speed option to the left. And they pitch it out just in time. Right gets the ball. And that is a gain of 11 in a first down. So now hurrying it back to the line once again. Adams is getting the call from the sideline. Are they going back to the running back? Yes, they are. And there's a stop in the backfield. And that's Jordan Mann, the sophomore defensive tackle with the stop in the backfield. Just out of field goal range, third and seven. Here they are from the shotgun. They're going to throw it out to the flats. Let's get out there. And that's a nice tackle. And there we go. Stopping them before they get into field goal range. Second and 10 here. Four wide receivers set. Here's a screen pass. And we're going to throw it out of bounds. We got to watch on that. That could have been a grounding, but there was a receiver in the area. Third and 10 now. Penn State has been playing very good defense. On this drive, a screen pass out to the right side. Let's get a couple blocks. And look at Knox. He's taking it, and he's getting a nice gain of 15. That was a good screen. That was one of the few times I've seen it work. Joey Thompson. Let's go. Two backs in the backfield. He's got all day. He's going to air it out to the right side, and it's almost picked off in triple coverage, trying to force that one. So third and 14, we usually run these stupid screens in this situation. There's another one here is Knox, and he's got blockers, so get up field. Come on, get it there. And nope, we're going to get about seven. That's not enough. Only a gain of seven. We're going to have to punt. Second and five from the shotgun. This time Adams is going to try to get gotcha, rid of it, and he's going to get sacked in the backfield. Is that Tremblay? Look at that. He's on the ground making the sack. 
Now third and 10. Here is Josh Adams, screen pass out to the right. Let's get there, defense, and oh, there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. And it's gonna be clipping on the offense, so we get helped out by the penalty. So third and 17 after the flag, Josh Adams, does he have a little bit of magic in him? He's got good blocking, he's gonna throw to the right side, and it's gonna be complete, Bruh. a nice throw. Daryl Ostrander, 27 yards. First and 10 here, another play from the shotgun. Calling the play at the line is Adams, he's gonna run it, and he's gonna run up the middle, and he's got a nice gain, and that's about 13 yards for a first. Adams is perfect in this game so far. Six for six. Here's a throw across the middle once again, finding his tight end. And a gain of seven, third and one coming up. Third and one this time. Looks like they're going to run the ball. They're going to read an option to the right side, and that's a speed option, and he breaks the tackle, and he's got a first down gain of nine. We got to knock that ball out or something. Third down and four to go. Can we make a stop? Here is a throw across the middle. That's Adams, and he finds his tight end. First and goal at about the three-yard line. First and goal now. They're lined up in the pistol. Here is Adams. Throw a pick. Here is a throw to the sideline, and it's a touchdown. Tim Coleman, one yard out, and it's 7-0 Penn State. First and 10 now. Here is Joey Thompson. He's been running the ball well on this drive. He hands it off to Denzel Knox. Look at Knox fighting off a tackler. This is how we have to win. Run the ball with Knox. Here on a second and three. Thompson, nice protection up front. He gets it across the middle. Tyree Jordan, 14 yards. I like this drive so far. Second and two now. Trips to the right. We're going to run speed option to the left. And Thompson is going to get tackled behind the line. That's a loss of one. Let's get into field goal range at least. Third and 11. Thompson, and he's going to throw to the right side. He's got an open man, and it's overthrown. Man, that was a first down. I'm not mad at this first half, but here's a stop. Tremblay in the backfield. The five-star prospect has been showing up this game so far. Three tackles for loss. Third and 14. They are lined up in the bunch formation to the left. Adams, he's going to flip the play, and he's got a clean pocket thrown out to the right side, and another big first down throw, Theo Johnson. So a second and 14 this time. A draw play, and we're going to get a nice little stop, only a gain of six, Peter Wright. So third and seven now. Can we come up with a stop? There's a deflection, and he almost catches it. Wow. I would have been upset at that one. Here on a first and 10, Joey Thompson after the punt. He's going to keep it on the read option, get to the right side. He throws a stiff arm, and he picks up a nice gain of five. Third and five. Come on, Joey. What you got? Throw over the middle. He's got a man, and it's fumbled, picked up by Penn State. And we're going to turn the ball over. Champagne Green coughs it up. Well, we set them up with good field position. That's definitely not what we've wanted since we've been actually playing pretty good D on their offense. Here's a handoff this time to the left side, and their running back is going to break a couple tackles and get around the corner. Peter Wright, 11 yards. A second in goal now. They're going to hand it off this time up the middle, and the running back is going to fall into the end zone. How did he get in? Peter Wright, five yards out. I guess that's why he's 99 overall. First and 10, Joey Thompson. This time he's getting sacked, and he's losing eight yards on that one. <sighs> Third and 17 now. We have four wide receivers out there. Here's Thompson. He's going to air this one out deep. He's got a man, and it's going to be deflected. Mark Harrell was the intended target, and we're going to have to punt. So first and 10. If it wasn't for that turnover, we would still be in this game. It would be a one-score game. Here's a throw across the middle. Daryl Ostrander for seven yards. So third and two now. Let's come up with a stop defense speed option to the right side. And look at Andre Tremblay. He's showing that he's a five-star prospect in every facet of his game. Second and ten now. Here's Thompson from the shotgun. Good protection. He throws to the sideline. And he's got a man, Sammy Baldwin. Touchdown, SJSU. We're back in it. 57 yards. How does he get that wide open? Sammy Baldwin. So it looks like just off the line, he just broke 
press, and then he's just got the speed, and that's a touchdown, Sammy. So that's going to do it going into halftime. We get that late touchdown to end the first half. It's 10-14. to 14. We're staying in it. So here we go. We do get the ball to start the second half. Here's a handoff, and Knox is getting punished. Gain of one. Third and nine here. I do not like this formation. Here's a screen pass in. We're not getting rid of it. Joey Thompson sacked for nine yards. We're going to have to punt already. So after the punt, they are set up with pretty good field position. Here's a delayed handoff. This time, Peter Wright gets up the middle, and he's going down, and they missed the face mask on that one. That's a gain of nine. Getting the call from the sideline now. Second and three, another speed option to the left. And look at the pitch, and they're getting the first down. Peter Wright, four yards. So first and 10 at about the 20-yard line. Josh Adams, he's going to get some pressure. He's throwing to the end zone, and it should have been picked off. Marcus yeah. Daniels, hold on to that one, big fella. Third and three, line up in the five wide receiver set once again. Here's some pressure off the edge. Get to him. He gets hit on the throw, and it's a touchdown, Raymond Harmon. Wow, just as the pressure was getting there, Josh Adams finds his target, and they take the 21 to 10 lead on that throw. Plenty of time left. Let's just try to establish the run. I mean, we're on a second and 17, though. We don't have much of a choice. Thompson is going to tuck and run. He gets to the outside. Nobody's going to contain him, and he gets smacked, but he does get back, back to where we were, third and 10. Come on, let's get Sammy Baldwin involved some more. He's a game changer, third and 10. Here we go. Once again, throwing the ball deep to the left side, and it's going to be picked off Penn State, and that is going to be the second turnover of the game. They're set up at about the 50. I'm really not mad at this situation here. Second and seven, and look at this. He gets away, but he doesn't get anything, a gain of two. I would have been mad if he would have broke that one. Third and five. They're just out of field goal range. Let's get a stop defense. Josh Adams, here's Tremblay getting in there, and he's sacked again. The freshman is showing up. Just look at Tremblay on this play. I mean, just straight bully ball here as he just abuses that right tackle. Let's just rewind that and take a look. I mean, just look at this. Just getting around him, forcing Josh Adams to move in the pocket, and he just has nowhere to go, just swallowing him up. Oh, so they just took him out for one play. He wasn't hurt at all. I'm not sure why he was out on that one. Here's Thompson back in the game. Throw across the middle. He's got a man, Mark Harrell, eight yards and a first down. Here on a first and 10, Thompson. He's going to try to tuck and run. He's got some room. He puts on a move, runs over a defender, 10 yards. So now a second and seven, three minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's a handoff to the right side. Nice blocking, and Denzel Knox gets the first down. Gain of nine to the right. So third and five. Here is Daniel Dunn in the game. He's blocking. Throw to the left side. Wide open is Jordan Armstead. First down, gain of 12. We're looking good. Man, let's get into the end zone on this drive. Make it just a three-point game once again from the shotgun. Here's Thompson. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. He's going to get smacked. Oh, my goodness. And we missed the field goal. I did not expect us to miss that one. And, wow, that is just crazy. Second and five now. Here's Peter Wright, another carry. And look at that move. Oh, my goodness. How did Zamir Hines miss like that? That's a gain of 25. Second and nine. Here is Adam. Screen pass out to the left. Let's get out there. Here's the defense, and they'll get the blocking they need. And a first down. Oh, my goodness. Best case scenario here is an interception or a turnover, but let's just hold them to a field goal. Here is the quarterback, Adams. He throws to the end zone. It's an interception. JoJo Forrest. That's the turnover we needed. There we go. Let's go defense. Now offense, we got to score. So here we go. Come on, Joey Thompson. What do you have in you? Show them why you were the number one quarterback in the nation. Here's a tuck and run. He's got a lot of room. Get to the first down. It's a first down. Gain of 10. So third and eight, here's a big play in this game. Here is Thompson, he's gonna unload deep. He is gonna be, it's gonna be completed. 
Mark Harrell with the catch in traffic. What a throw and what a catch. Let's take another look at this. I mean, that was an amazing catch by Mark Harrell. Just goes up and gets it, and it's a big first down. So after the big play here, at about the 26-yard line, here is Thompson, going to fake the handoff. This time, gets to the left side, get down up. Oh, that's a big hit. Loss of two, and he's down. He's hurt. Well, Josh Tulevsky gets his shot. Maybe he will even earn his spot back with a nice drive here. Handoff this time, Daniel Dunn up the middle. Look at the blocking inside the 10, gain of 20. So Tulevsky comes in for one play and Joey Thompson is right back in. Tough player here, the freshman. Another read option, he's gonna keep it up the middle and he's getting inside the five. Joey Thompson now back in the game, looking like maybe he's a little hurt, running the speed option to the left, pitching it out to Denzel, who throws a stiff arm, breaks a tackle, gets to about the two. And Joey Thompson is shaken up once again. So Josh Tulevsky is back in the game for a crucial third and goal. Here he is from the shotgun, running the same exact play as before. Daniel Dunn gets hit, loss of two. Wow. Wow, so uh, Thompson is going to be hurt for two quarters, meaning he's out for the game. So Tulevsky, fourth and goal. We got to get into the end zone on this play. Here's a shotgun play. Get rid of it, get rid of it, and it's picked off. What a terrible throw. And Penn State takes over. So that does seal it up. And Josh Adams comes in here and beats us. Peter Wright actually had a quiet game for most of the game, and then he had a couple of big runs. And our offense just turned the ball over. I think Joey Thompson with experience is going to get better and win these games. So Adams actually has a really good game, 20 for 24. Only four incompletions. Didn't have any big passes, but he did his thing. Uh, Josh, Joey Thompson actually, 188, 14 for 24. And Telesky came in. Threw one pass and threw an interception. I mean, I don't know what's up with that guy. He's just an interception magnet. And Joey Thompson, I mean, he did his best. And their defense is really good. Denzel Knox, we definitely need to get him the ball more. I don't know what's up with that. Sammy Baldwin had a touchdown, that one big play. Mark Harrell had a big catch. But, I mean, Andre Tremblay was definitely the MVP of this defense this game. Two sacks, and it was really the only guy that was really doing something, except JoJo Forrest did have that interception but I got to give everybody credit I can't just credit one guy everybody did their job we just didn't have enough on offense so after that loss versus Penn State I do decide to sim the next three games and look at this we end up winning all three Kansas State Iowa State and Baylor and look where we're ranked we're ranked number seven still wow so let's take a look at the top teams here and it looks like we are actually number seven and ranked ahead of LSU is eight and one wow that's pretty surprising maybe I don't know why that is I mean well LSU does play Bama this week so that might be a win or a loss we'll have to see but somebody's gonna have to fall Penn State is still undefeated and I don't know our national title hopes might still be all right as we are actually right behind Florida as they lost last week. So we actually could jump them. We'll have to see. So look at this. I looked at the stats and look at Joey Thompson. He's at 81 overall right now. So yeah, take a look. He's actually went up to 85 throw power and 80 accuracy. How did, I've never seen a guy progress like this. Maybe if you sim guys progress because look at his stats. He's actually having a good season. 14 touchdowns and two interceptions. No wonder why we're still winning games. How come he can't play that well when I'm spectating? I don't get it. So the winning does not stop in simulation. I don't know what the heck is going on, but we win once again. There, This was a 3-6 and six Kansas team, but Thompson, 214 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Oh, and he ran for 110. What? Dang, he's killing them. Jordan Armstead has two touchdowns. Let's see what our defense is doing. Luther Bridges has a sack, and man, what a, what a game. All right, the losing does not stop in this episode. We play number 22 Oklahoma, and we win in a 24-17 game. This was a close one, and let's just see what Thompson did in this game. Oh, zero touchdowns and three interceptions, and we still win. How? Let me, let me just see what he did running the ball. 
Okay, he had 70 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Knox, 87 yards. Wow, I mean, how do we win this game? All right, we just can't end this episode because the more we simulate, the more we win. Oklahoma State, and this one was a route. 38 to 13. Look at this. The game even opened up with the 47-yard touchdown pass from Thompson to Knox. And look at this. Okay, so Thompson bounces back strong. Three touchdowns and an interception. Knox goes up for over 100 yards, but still has not reached the end zone. I don't get it. He's not getting any touchdowns this season. Armstead does have a big game, though. 128 yards, eight receptions, and a touchdown. And let's see. Oh, Andre Tremblay, 11 tackles total. He's having a monster year. Even Marcus Daniels gets a pick. Well, in between simulating, we do lose a big recruit throw. Patrick Cade commits to Stanford. That really, really sucks. So let's just take a look at our board. Trevor McKenzie is, we're still number one for him. Greer, we're still number one for him. Sam Davis, but we have a bunch of new recruits. And they're going to come in with a pretty good class here. Michael Jefferson, 69 overall. Decent. Not like great. Marcel Rodriguez, a three-star. Middle linebacker, 69. Not bad there. But we do get Rich Hefner. Let's just take a look at him. He is... Oh, man. He looks like a really good cover guy. He might be a safety or a cornerback. Play recognition at 84. Man at 89. Zone at 84. That's actually really, really good. And then we have a couple other guys. Derek Ferris is a cornerback. He's 91 speed, 96 acceleration. We're going to have a good secondary coming in. And I'm excited about that. Well, we already made it to the last game of the season. So we might as well just simulate this last one. We are ranked number five in the nation. So let's sim this game and see what happens and see if we win again. So we do win this one. So we actually barely win this one. 22 to 17. Let's take a look at the stats here as... Oh, we were behind early, it looks like, but Thompson throws a touchdown and an interception. He runs for 66. Denzel Knox runs for 99. He finally gets into the end zone. Not a big receiving game from our receivers. Let's, let's look on defense. Oh, it looks like we were just struggling. That's why we barely won this game. So now we are number four in the nation, but take a look. We are stuck in the same exact scenario as two years ago and three years ago where we are stuck behind three teams who are pretty much in the driver's seat in Georgia and LSU and Penn State. Penn State's undefeated, so I imagine they're going to beat Illinois. Illinois is somehow good in this dynasty now. They, have I mean, they're not even rated that well. They're kind of like us, to be honest. But then Georgia and LSU play each other. So the winner of this game is definitely going, and then we need Penn State to lose, and then we have to beat Texas in the conference championship. So that's where we're going to leave off this episode. I don't know what's going to happen next episode, but hopefully this time we get it to bounce our way, but it's very, very unlikely. So we'll see. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next episode, we'll get to see our fate here in Season 7. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.